here. Welcome back to Call of Duty Modern Warfare. And today I'd like to show you some best class setup uh, for the Growl 556. Now this was a weapon that was released during Season 2. This is also a weapon a lot of people consider to be one of the best ARs in game. Now in the last few videos I've been going over secondary per uh, perks, lethals, tacticals, that kind of thing. Um, I've done that so much lately I'm sure most of you that have seen those videos kind of know what I'm running. So what you see on screen right now, of course, is what I run usually in uh, Team Deathmatch, uh, Ground War, anything besides Warzone. Of course, I will change those perks, lethals, and tacticals up when it comes to Warzone. So those are all personal preference. Just kind of go with what you want. When it comes to secondaries, I always usually use the same pistol, which is going to be the M19 or the new Renetti pistol is very good too. So let's go ahead and hop right into the first class. This one is a, a class that I like to use in Ground War or in Warzone. It's a slower handling, slower movement kind of class. But it is extremely accurate and it is a very good class at all ranges in my opinion. Just keep in mind there is not a lot of mobility with this class. The first thing we're going to go with is the monolithic suppressor. Sound suppression, damage range, aim down sight speed, aim walking steadiness of course are your cons. The next thing we're going to go with is the arc angel barrel. It's going to give us bullet velocity, damage range, recoil control. Of course the cons are going to be aim down sight speed and movement speed. We're going to go with the commando foregrip, recoil stabilization, aiming stability, the con of movement speed. And then the other thing we're going to go with is a 60 round mag. This is why I really like in ground war or in war zone because war zone, of course, people have a lot of, uh, you know, a lot more health than they do in, in multiplayer. And of course, in ground war, you're shooting at a lot of different targets at different ranges. So 60 round mag is very helpful. Just remember the cons of this is aim down sight speed and movement speed. As you can see, I'm missing one attachment here. This one is kind of up in the air. It's kind of what you want. You could go with an optic, you could go with the stock. Personally, I would choose one of these three things. A tack laser, which is going to give you aim down sight, aiming stability, uh, aim walking steadiness. And of course, that laser is going to be visible to enemies if you are ads You can also go with the XRK uh, back grip, which is going to give you aim down sight and sprint to fire speed. The only reason I don't really love this all the time is because of those two cons, which is aiming stability and recoil control. And last but not least, really, if you're playing Warzone, fully loaded is always a great perk in my opinion. Now, when it comes to grips, I really prefer the Commando foregrip because this setup, in my opinion, really has no recoil. But if you're still struggling with recoil, you always could go with the Merc or Ranger, whichever you prefer out of those two. Those are the other two grips, in my opinion, that are the best in game besides the Commando foregrip. Now, when it comes to the next class I'm going to show you, it's pretty much the exact same as what we just saw here. But that fifth attachment is going to be this no stock attachment. With this no stock attachment, you can see that mobility is up just a bit from the last... Uh, the last loadout, of course, there's no stock attachment. It's going to give us movement speed and aim down sight speed. Also, aiming stability and recoil controls are going to be the cons. This is for a smaller style map, maybe something like 6v6 that's smallish, maybe not very small, but kind of that mid-size 6v6 map. But a smaller ground war map, you have a little bit more movement, but you're still a bit slow, in my opinion, with this setup. There is one other thing that you can do here, and that is drop the Archangel Barrel and go with the XRK Barrel, which is going to give you damage range and bullet velocity. You're not going to have that recoil control like you would with the Archangel, but also you're only going to have one con, which is aim down sight speed. So with this situation here, you're going to have a weapon that's more of a compact kind of AR, almost like a sub, but a little bit more range, of course, than a submachine gun. As you can see, that mobility is back to where it's supposed to be. It's not in you know, kind of negative uh, side effects of mobility. Of course, we still have good range and good accuracy. The control is a bit off. Usually when I run this setup, I will drop this suppressor. It is still not bad, but I prefer to go with something like a tack laser to even, uh, you know, increase that mobility and control and accuracy even more. Or something like that grip that we talked about. The only con to this grip, of course, is those two cons that you have there of aiming stability and recoil control. So you can see that accuracy and control kind of slack off a bit. So personally, an optic or something like the tack laser, or maybe even sleight of hand, or fully loaded if you prefer something like that. But give this class a look, because it is very good, like I said, for smaller maps, for 6v6 style maps. But hopefully, guys, these class setups will give you some ideas of things you can run with the Growl 556. Leave me a comment with your thoughts, and of course, if you liked it, hit the like. If you haven't subscribed yet, please do so. If you are a subscriber, click the bell icon up in the top right corner, so you know when all my videos go live. If you have a chance to share the video, please do so. It helps out a lot. And of course, be sure to check out the affiliate GT Racing. Uh, all their information is linked down in the description. And I'll catch you all next time. Peace.